Okay, they've started the new Protectors Jubilee event for Neverwinter, and it's a little different this year, and there's a lot of additions, so I want to kind of go over it for you here, and uh, just to make a simple look at it, it is the seventh year of the game, yeah, so they've got an icon down here to do so, and, and what all can you get? Well, the whole thing is set up in a festival-type atmosphere, and in a couple of weeks, we're going to start the summer festival where you play Saha Ball and all of that, but this is different. This is the Protector's Jubilee where Lord Never Ember does his little thing and it's a summer festival and you're able to get some things out of it and it's really uh, most of it guys is for new people into the game. Let me pray. And uh, so what can you get? Well you can get all these different looking uh, thrones that they've got that you can put down in your heads up display down here where I've got the horns that I use and stuff and you can use it in one of those and when you're in between gigs or sitting around you can sit in it you can spin while you're sitting in it they've got one of the lions they've got one of boo they've got one that they started last year and it's pretty cool with the demons around the throne pointing at you and poking his finger at you pretty cool but there's actually a, a new one also that they did last year that has the dragon that's kind of overshading it if you will and there's the one with boo with the little hamster from outer space see this uh fire breather right here you can get that as a companion we'll talk about those in a second too and here's the new throne and i've seen somebody in it in another video made me kind of want to do it here if you look at this thing as we go around it it's kind of angels and demons. There's a demon crawling around on it on the back of it. And I've already got all the other ones. Let me see here. Uh, boom. Ba -da -da. I've got... So here's the one of Boo. Here's the demon one. Here's the lion throne, etc. The other two are, I guess, in the bank. But there's also a clothing that you can get but apparently it's screwed up you see here where you can get these succubus fashion these wings you can buy this out of the campaign also but apparently the wings just stay like that and they're supposed to flap every once in a while but it's screwed up the cleric if he puts it on is always flapping and no one else is flapping they're always like this so that's kind of weird Here's this other fashion too, which it has these weird slits in it that show light through and then just like kind of fire on your body. There's a set that looks kind of Greco-Roman that's right here that you can wear. You can see it in the females too. And here's the other demonish type incubus rather than succubus outfit that you can get that again has the wings and the fighter of the fallen fashion. And it looks pretty cool too, so it's pretty decent. And you can see this chair has been made with the black hole sun concept of the new area that we're in. And uh, so that's pretty neat. And so they're showing you it's number seven that we've done of all this. You can also get a juggler. And uh, a few other things here. Um, let's look at that real quick. Let's look at the store. So in this store, you can get the Traveling Entertainer. That's a juggler, but you can also get the Emote to Juggle. You can get the Jubilee Unicorn. It's a little different than the other unicorn. It's more bluish, and I'll show them to you in a second. There's the Seductive Hat, and uh, it really just shows horns on the person's head. If you can see that, let me see if I can zoom in on crotch. See if I can zoom in. So you see that effect right there. Well... Let me fix it so you can see it. God, that's showing up so bright. There we go. So, that's pretty neat. But then they also have uh, its seductive shirt that you put on and it gives you the wings. And if I check out the third one, then it'll show me with the whole set on. And it looks pretty cool. And even though it's kind of a, not a hot orange red on black, which does look kick ass you can change the colors on it. Uh, the pants are really kind of a deep purple. And uh, so no dye pack to go along with this though. And then there's also ceremonial hood and stuff that you had from before. There is a new companion known as Spike. He's a vanity pet. 
and uh, so and and he looks like the monkey that would currently fight the Gigantopithecus looking thing. Ceremonial cloaks and so on, and and uh, they've got that. You can even turn around and buy your renown out of it. You can see I've got one here at the bottom, and projected to try to get some of this stuff, and it takes. Basically, just to get the shirt with the wings, it'll take four days worth of doing it, all ten to do the Jubilee Unicorn, and so on. And then there's the Renown store that you can get, and it's got the Vampire Throne, the Shadow Dragon, the Lion, the Game Master, the Throne of Boo, the Throne of Celebration, which I never got last year, too. That was the celebration for last year, by the way. And it has just horns next to it, like da 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 and then here's the new one the redeemed there's also an outfit for the redeemed and it's the one that looks like the greeks so um you can also buy elementor's lunch boxes and things like that and an abyssal chicken which is also a um, companion that you can get when you kill an enemy you summon, summon an abyssal chicken for 10 seconds that fights for you it's really not good at all but if you were brand new and it wouldn't hurt and here is that outfit with the leggings of the fallen that you can see it's kind of reddish magma on fire there's the helmet even with it there and so you can see how that looks with his horns on it and uh, if I was to get the shirt of the redeemed you can see that's the one that looks kind of Greek if you will and uh, crown of the redeemed and it's just a little circlet so probably for females the pants of the redeemed you can't see on right now but it's just a little short and it's wadded up and there are people that works as clerics and maybe try to look like Jesus and whatever and they basically would wear no other fashion but just the little pants shorts that she's got on and it'll look like he was wearing a cloth of the period so that's kind of weird or cool if you will and uh, so this is Elminster he's pretty much like uh, oh, like Merlin if you will for us and one of the major guys and so they tell you each day that you got to do things one is the protector speech which up top they'll do a speech and protector never ember babbles the whole time you're doing it and you have to run back it's up top when it starts you have to queue up for it and then it'll come down here and all around protectors you end up fighting little groups of mobs and then a boss and groups of mobs and a boss groups of mobs and a boss and it ends and there is one phase of it where you actually go and travel up to Moonstone Mask too by the way and then there's the Protector's Bounty that you've got to get from the area and Protector's Bounty is gotten from uh, you going and getting a merchant a foreign merchant right here and it'll give you a Protector's Bounty for it and each bounty has things in it also so we'll kind of go over that here if we will but uh, so here's the original thing there's that new monkey mount from this last round so taking a look at it here's that unicorn it's a little more frost blue and if you look he's got spots on him almost like a snowflake Appaloosa horse right and then here's the parade horse it's kind of meh but uh, same time it kind of looks like those horses that pull the chariots of King Tut and stuff in there and everything so that's pretty cool all of the different thrones that you can get so this is one of the things that people are like where'd you get that at and it's like you get you see these people with all these different thrones and stuff and there's only uh let's see you can get all the thrones from this i think there was one up until now that you couldn't get from here and it was the boo throne which you got from another place now you can get all of them right so where does he want us to go today? And I didn't even listen to him whenever he said it. So let's look in the journal real quick here and see. This is how you can easily find it. And the place that I'm supposed to go, it doesn't have it on there. So this merchant guy that you have to escort, and he wants you to meet some, uh, some other person in a, another place and it's protectors bounty well here it is in black lake district and that's the first area that we go in so there's going to be no contest really and uh, you can really walk up to the people and they won't do anything to you your, your level so high that they don't mess with you I think it has to be 10 above 
and so let's go into this area and see see there's bad guys but we can just go right on past them and where are we looking at here that does this There's no message inside. Instead, there's a clear outline of a sludge-coated footprint lying squarely atop the bottle. It would appear that a wandering sludge zombie trudged upon the bottle. Perhaps the message is here to a stinky creature. The only one way to find out is hunt down sludge zombies in the black district and recover the note. So, let's do it. And where are the sludge zombies? Are they back in this area? Yeah. Search sludge sud jummies for missing messages. Well, they're not here. I tell you, whenever I got my uh, legendary mount, it was right after we went up, and you can cue this thing here as a religion kit. It's supposed to give you a better chance at stuff. Religion kits is a success. I showed somebody how a couple of other people had gotten good luck with it. And they did it. And within 10, he got a an artifact that they had then that was purple. And then on the 7th or 8th one, he ended up getting... The Griffin. And because I had given him, I thought there'd be more down here. Because I, I had given him a uh, legendary rage drake. Because he had blown a lot of money trying to get it and couldn't get it. So when I got one, it was like, I can't just go showing up. There's a group right there in there, yeah. Sludge zombie, huh? Hey guys, somebody gonna drop it? Yeah, it looks like message covered. Ta-da! What is this? It's another message. So all of them are going to drop that. It's probably geared to where they're the one that does it. See if there's anything in this dungeon kit. Quartz. It's about the cheapest stuff, but we're in the lowest level area, right? And uh, what's weird is there's a glitch going on. In the little top right-hand corner right here, it says, An Unlikely Spy and to speak to old Jerry and that's not actually in this in any way shape or form but every one of the little uh, events seems to op be opening up in fact whenever I get in protectors it tells me to do this thing and it's not even the event that's going on now it's another event I saw the little dotted line but it just leads over to the ground where she usually is and she's not there so if you see this type of thing, don't be fooled by it. Uh -huh. Alright. The load-in. So now I go back to Elementor again. And everybody's all crowded up on him. And there's the message in the bottle. And it gives me the bounty for the day. And Protector's bounty for the day. It gives me that, but then I get a reward in the garden. Enter the protector's garden and get your reward. Well, I already have the key to the garden, and that is one thing that you can get right there, protector's key, right up here. And it's a special garden that's right up here. There's the world tree, by the way. It goes zipping right up under it. World tree. But there's the garden up here on top of that building. So it's kind of like the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. And the only way to get in it is right here. And it's open now during all Jubilee events, but it used to only be open for the people that had the actual key and had gotten it, and it was kind of like a hangout, but nobody really ever used it. Now they've got it all set up. That's pretty cool. There's also an exit here, which is just like a doorway to travel. And... uh It's a pleasure to meet you too, lady. So number seven, so this has got something to do with it. And there's a chest over here. 
So you're all going to want to check that out. And it gives me two more bounties. Here inside of the bounty, the first one each day that you open gives you a protector's figurine. And I'll do that in a minute to show it to you. And a renown. Renown is what adds up to where you can buy all those deals that we're looking at, right? And uh, so it contains one of those each day. But also you can get a protector's hospitality. And what's cool is you need to develop a few of those. You shouldn't try to do it the first day. But you'll develop a few of those in their gifts that you can put in your little slot, like you would use to use a potion or whatever. And you get in a group of people that all have them, and you point at each other and open them up, and it gives you gifts too. This is where you get the juggler and a few other things if you want to do it. It's kind of a novelty situation. Zen Market coupons, also that you get each day too. Additional renown, stronghold vouchers for your stronghold if you need it, and everything else too. Now, what's this Zen Market coupons? Well, that's pretty important. Let me go ahead and grab this. So, what is Zen Market coupons? Well, the Zen Market that you can buy stuff out of, right now, everything's on sale 30% off. Y'all probably can't see that real well. But everything is 30% off, and even you can buy some of the figurines for it, right? But you can get a coupon that gives you 50% off and it overdoes this and you can get them for certain little categories and so you might want to hold off just a second instead of grabbing unless you really 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 want to but one thing that you should get maybe is VIP so you get all the other perks from it because you're getting a 30% off at the time get six months as you can but I don't want to blow all money on that and I just redid my VIP I didn't have but a few days left a week ago Mm, so I just went with it straight and I got a 20% off which is what you usually get sometimes when it goes around but um, you can get a 50% off coupon and whenever you get 50% off it uh, is a whole lot better and so that's something to consider also they've ended up giving you weapon enchants and armor enchants that are ranked 14s and 15s that you can get and so that's going to tank the value of those things if you look at stuff right now I guess Radiants are probably holding the best out of that, but they're 4,200, and that's 30% off right now. But if you get a 52% 50 uh, off, it ends up being, I don't know, 3,400 or something like that. At the price of Zen right now, that's actually doable for people that may need it. But probably the only person that's going to do this is somebody that's new and wants to tank some money into it. Because I can't figure it out off the top of my head, but I believe it's something like. 20 bucks to get one of these enchants yeah so it's 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 not nothing if you were to blow it into the game and not have built up any too stones of hell but they're a thousand fifty for each one it's just clearly cheaper even at the 50 percent rate to get it here companion upgrades though are 30 percent off and only at 350 get a 50 percent off and it makes it so cheap might be worth doing there's a few other things that you can look in here that you might go off and try to get, but one thing is camp campaign bundles. If you were going to do this, if you wanted to try to breeze through a campaign or something like that, right? So that's kind of where that comes from. I'm just going to jump off of here and jump on my Quidditch stick. Whoa, it lagged right there for a second. See, there's the people that you do for the one that goes with the tree. And that's really one of the early ones that you do. Now, do I need to turn this back in? No, it already gave it to me. Or is it going to say it? No, it already gave it to me. So let me show you real quick where you go to end up doing this quest. Because they used to do it in the stronghold. But sometimes people aren't doing it in the stronghold. And whenever you do it in the stronghold... You have to have one certain scroll that I'll end up probably getting a couple of. But if you don't have somebody, you're waiting on them to do that. They've got to run all the way back up there and so on. And one of the easy place to find it at is Whispering Cabins. And there should be some other guys here doing it already. It is early in the morning, but we'll take a look. Whispering Caverns is a huge map, but we're only going to be working over a part of it. In fact, not even getting into the lava kind of part that it showed there. 
And so what we're doing here, and yeah, there's a kind of group of people here, but there's a group somewhere else, so they're probably gone through here. Mineral sample. <coughs> so where it's at is right up through here. And what you're doing is escorting this guy. And there's somebody with the new wings already. And that must be a cleric. So when you run into a group of people, it does damage to them. And then you pick up things. I missed it. There it is. And there's your protector's bounty. And so you get groups of these and you're basically farming it. And you get extra renown. And what you're doing is carrying him back to the main campfire that's there. And you end up fighting a few groups of people while you're going back. They're just breezing through this. You can find one where you can do it solo, but I, I kind of doubt right now that you're going to find that because everybody's farming it. And so right when you get across, there's another group. It's either there or right at the fire. It was right there. And so you get some from there. And then you got to get up here with it when it closes at the fire, and it should drop another one. There it is. Okay, so now you rinse and repeat, guys. Touch the fire, if you will. And then you're going to jump back in here. And go all the way back. And once you've done this a couple of times, oh, there's one I missed. Protector's bounty. You can see him glowing. I don't want to get that. That's for another quest right now. So you go all the way back down through here, and you can kind of see the guys popping back up. And you have to go to the end of this trail here. And as you run back through them, they become active, and here we go. See what I can collect here. You gotta stay with the thing, too. I had a problem on my other character I came and did it on. She ran out of space. And it made it just about impossible. There we go. So you can see you can get protectors bounties from here. And you get a few from each one. And then when you reopen it up, you get more from each one. And that's what builds up over time for you to be able to buy. Ooh, there's another purple. For you to be able to buy some of that stuff. So... It won't take too long, and then say you want to farm it half one day, half another day, or something like that, you'd be able to really easily able to do it in a couple of hours. But don't forget also that you're going to be doing your dailies and stuff like that that you have to do. Not for this, but your regular dailies that go with getting your AD and so on like that, right? And in that fact, you might as well turn one of those on while you're doing it and when it pops it pops and whenever it's through you come back and you farm in between your cues popping and I'll probably do that here in just a second anyhow though pretty interesting the stuff you can get is fairly neat so I just thought I'd do one out of it, and because they've changed it, there's a lot of people that don't agree with them giving you the cheaper 14s and 15s because all that does is cheapen the market on everything. But you can tell what they're doing here is we've reached mod 19, and we're so advanced now for people that are totally built up that somebody new coming into the game, it seems like it's going to be forever. So recently they've given us an uh, you know, an enchantment and done this and done that, trying to get you bumped and on your way. And they've got a sale going on now to try to get you further upon your way. So you run all the way down here, you talk to him, and it gets him going. And there he goes. And every group you run back through, 
you'll get some from. Oh, and you need to draw them into the circle that you're in. And when they come in and you shoot them, that's when you get the stuff. So you don't want to shoot them until they get in the stuff. Did I get one out of that? Yep. Somebody's coming. It's that spider. You want to make him keep coming until he catches up to you, if he does. You just go along with the group. And, and everybody's so built up. You know, all I have to do is one move. It's my slash everything, and it seems to take out a few of them. Why can't I pick that up? There we go. Seems to take out a couple of mini anyhow. So you have that effect. See, I did it, and I was out of the circle. There, I got one that was. But whenever I shot them, and they were out of the circle, it didn't drop one, even though I killed all three of those. So you try not to do that. You try to draw them into it. And I noticed some of these people's names right here. So that's why they're killing it just so quick is this is a little hot group. Where it, it keeps throwing them over my shoulder. If you're moving along and it does it, it's going to toss it over your shoulder so you all be aware. And usually you can do your daily right before here. And if your daily is one of those that have people that come out to attack, you can get another shot here. and there's one and get in the yellow for the group and another one should drop right now there it is and so guys i'm just going to hold it off here and get into the next group that comes but that's how you do it and rinse and repeat and again i'm at whispering caverns here but i think there's five different ones you can do and the stronghold and during the height of the day your stronghold's probably going hard doing it but first thing here in the morning, it's only like 6.30, 7 o'clock here. So it isn't really going yet necessarily, but this afternoon it will be. So depending on when you get on versus your guild and things like that, it may make a difference for you. Anyhow, like, share, and subscribe. Peace, and hope you get some cool stuff. Later.